Hey everyone, welcome to our talk today. My name is Mike and this is my coworker David. We both work at uh, your local stop and shop in uh, Walker's Book Drive in Reading, Mass. What's up guys? Uh, our topic to tell you guys today is about our jobs at stop and shop where some whack things, you know, they occur daily. The most recent thing being the man in the bathroom. Yeah, you know, let's, let's talk about this crackhead, David. A few weeks ago, a nut walked into our bathroom and camped out in the stall for over an hour and left the store after threatening to call the police. He then started to yell at one of our managers about how we did nothing wrong. However, like, I mean, more recently, the man tried to purchase some groceries in the line, the cashier, when our uh, manager, Scott, who was on the last day of his career at Reading Stop and Shop, he came out. He yeah, like, Mike, uh, I was actually there during that, uh, if you want me to take that. Yeah, sure, man. So it uh, turns out I was having a customer on my line. I turned around, and this guy was trying to buy market basket cookies at a Stop and Shop line, and that's just not right so our manager tried to kick him out and he kept trying to scare my manager who was unfazed by his attempts and then scott my manager told the front end to call the police and uh when i left work at five i saw them like six officers talking to him outside and it was just it was weird yeah for you then, man. it was, it was like <laughs> pretty pretty whack i like went out and talked to the officer for a little bit i was like yo what's going on and he's like you know, we're taking your guy away. You know, I like, I left my shift for just five minutes. And, yeah, <laughs> it's like, here's your little friend on the back of my car. Yeah, so that, that was like stall, man. But uh, a few in a few weeks, like some, there's going to be some changes coming to Stop and Shop. Uh, Mike, you told me about the uh, Marty machine. You want to talk about that? Yeah, so, like, Marty's this robot that we're getting. So pretty much how Stop and Shop works most of the time is to make sure the aisles are clean. We have yeah. these things called porters or people, and they go around just scanning stuff. Yeah. And, um, yeah, they scan the ends of the aisles, make sure there's no spills and whatnot. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, so Marty's like a robot that's going to be taking their jobs. It's oh. like six foot, it's like six feet tall, weird blue lights, stuff like that. <laughs> it's just not something that we want because, as you know, as many people know, we're Stop and Shop's a union job. Yeah, that's not really beneficial for us or the union taking jobs. Not at all, man. This, this robot's gonna take the porter's jobs. They're not even. I mean, they're still gonna be cleaning up stuff because, like, it's not like Marty's a Roomba. It's <laughs> it just reports the spills. Kind of stupid. If you ask yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't really see the point. It just like goes around and alerts spills. And honestly, like I've worked there for a couple months. I've I've seen like two spills probably in my life. Yeah, man. I mean, Dave doesn't like it. Dave is our. Uh, Union guy, same with uh, Christian and Cheryl from the deli. No, yeah, I saw I saw the poster up in the, the punch in area about the union. Yeah, and yeah. it was like, don't sign any documents related to Marty the robot. What is it, local one? Full yeah, 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 something like that. Yeah, that was weird. I mean, like, it's gonna take a little while for us to get this robot. I mean, the charging dock's already there. Yeah, so I saw that. Yeah, so. they they took away the uh, the Richie's ice cream cooler. The slush. Oh, really? Yeah, they took away the uh, Halo Top, you know, Halo Top ice cream. Oh, yeah. that's tough. Uh, someone told me that they're already moving some porters to uh, other roles. Yeah, they, they're making, so, um, so we have this porter named Tom, really nice guy. I think he had a, a stroke oh, a little yeah. while ago, and so, he, you know, he can only talk with a you know, certain amount of vocabulary, if yeah. you want to say, and they moved in the meat department, because that was, okay. like, kind of my goal. I knew they were trying to take away, um... Porter's drop, so I was like, hey, go to meat department. Yeah. Well, it's going to be a while since the new union contract, since anything really goes through. Yeah, technically we're not a union shop right now. You know that, right? Oh, I know. Yeah, like, there's so people, they, there are people that came in yesterday, and they just, like, walked in yeah. with, like, no with like no schedule. Yeah, anything we can do is, like, under watch. You know, like, we're not protected by the union right now, right? No, I know. Yeah. I know. Like, I saw a manager's bag in yesterday. I couldn't do anything. Yeah, they, they just think they can do whatever they want. Yeah. I mean, they can with no I mean, contract. Yeah, they, they, they really can. Um, so, like, with the uh, Marty, how much money do you think we could lose with that or gain? I think we're going to, I mean, since the porters aren't going to be doing clean sweeps, yeah, and they have to do one every hour, that's, like, one run, say, like, $12 to pay someone to do it. And Marty's going to cost, like, a lot of money. Oh, yeah, like, I know. Upwards of like probably ten thousand dollars. It's a robot yeah. for it to like walk around and like look creepy. Yeah, just I mean, <laughs> it says it's interactive with customers. I think it's just freaking creepy, man. Yeah. All right, let's move on to our third and final topic. Uh, there's been some changes up in the front end, including myself. Um, I'm actually getting moved to another department. Surprisingly, and well, I'm not the, sure what if department I like is it. that? 
Uh, well, I've been training for grocery half the time, and I'm working grocery twice more this week. What have you been doing in grocery? Oh, uh, so the first day I blocked, and blocking is uh, like going into an aisle and moving a bunch of uh, Product. products, yeah, yeah. yeah, products from the back and moving them to the front so people for customers know them. And it's probably the the most boring job at Stop and Shop. Yeah, as um, our viewers know, going into the grocery store is not something that everyone enjoys. Yeah, not even for the workers. I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, it's hey. fun and all that sometimes, but blocking is definitely not fun. And then on my second day, I did help stock, and then I worked with Mike here on uh, file clerk. Didn't really do much. Mike does. Oh, uh, me. You. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's another one of my jobs. I'm mainly a dairy clerk. Yeah. You know, it's just milk, eggs, cheese, yogurt, juice, whatnot. Um. But file clerk is when the, the store decides to have some inflation going on. And they want to change the prices, so they yeah. leave that up to me and David and a guy named Tyler. Mainly you, but not really. I mean, I mean, you know Jesse, right? No, I don't. Jesse's a our wonderful um, file clerk. They call her Hydra. I don't know why, but uh, pretty much what she does is she maintains all the store sales and stuff like that. She's actually a great woman. She she battled cancer. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. you see seen her, right? You were yeah. fight for Jesse. I don't think I have. You ever seen someone wear a pink shirt? That, wait. Fight for Jesse. I think I might know who you're talking about. Yeah, she's, a, <laughs> she's an amazing woman. Very funny. She has a southern accent. Whatnot, uh, but yeah. yeah, you go back to the um, the Marty thing. Yeah. And do, you, do you know what it looks like? Yeah, it was like it was like some six-foot-tall gray twig. Like really thi- like kind of thin, but like lanky. And had like googly eyes on it. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, to our viewers, if you don't know what we're talking about, you can go to, um, you know, Google, type in Stop and Shop Robot, and look up images, and it will say, um, Marty, yeah. quote unquote, whatever. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much all we have to talk about today, guys. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, that's, that's tuning basically on our podcast. Stop and Shop. In the Stop and Shop Union basically. complaints. Stop and Shop Union. Yes, uh, we'll keep happening. you updated on the union soon so we'll be, w- there's a good chance we can be going on strike so that's just a little hint, hint for i actually y'all. thought we were going on strike yesterday so i brought a sweater and i brought a speaker because i thought we were just kind of a big party outside that's not a party dude because <laughs> the strike's not a party i, I know i know but it would have been cool all, all right. right well hope you guys have a good rest of your day mm-hmm. after you've listened to this wonderful podcast about stop and shop and its associates Thank all right you have for a good day in. guys